First, I'd like to talk a little bit about cloud computing and try to define what we mean by cloud computing, because people use the term cloud computing to mean many different things. Maybe the two most well-known examples of cloud computing are the, represent the opposite spectrums of what's meant by cloud computing. One is Salesforce.com, which has been around a very long time, a very successful application on the internet. Uh, and a lot of people call that cloud computing. It's an application on the internet. You don't run it on your computer, rather you access the application on the web. Is that cloud computing? Or is it Amazon EC2? Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. Now, the term cloud computing was popularized. In fact, came into exi popular existence with the invention and re the release of Amazon EC2. And again, it st stands in stark contrast to Salesforce.com because it's not an application at all. It's a platform upon which you build applications. And it's relatively new, very different than Salesforce.com. Needless to say, Oracle agrees with Amazon.com. Our definition of cloud computing is identical to theirs. We believe it's a platform. We believe on that platform you run standard-based software, a wide variety of software, databases and application development tools, and, you know, a variety of guest operating systems running on the virtual machines, it's a comprehensive development and execution environment that could run virtually all of your applications. It must be virtualized. It must, it must be elastic. It clearly it includes both hardware and software. And we have a slightly different take than Amazon.com in that we believe that not only are these clouds going to be publicly available to lots of different customers, but we think individual customers will have their, build their own private clouds behind their firewalls. And we call those clouds also. This evening, I'm going to announce the Exologic Elastic Compute Cloud, or a cloud in a box. You know, a while ago, we introduced Exadata, our database machine. Uh, again, it's designed to manage the data in your database. And this is the Exologic machine, hardware and software engineered to work together to run all of your applications, allow you to develop the applications and run the applications. One of the interesting things about Exadata is it's such a powerful database machine, we needed a powerful application server, if you will, to drive that machine. And that's why we came up with the Exologic box. When you want to patch the software on the Exadata machine, when you want to patch the VM, the operating systems, the middleware, and the applications, you download one file and put it on that device, and it patches all of the software, all of the software on the device. And I think that's very important. Because patching these, you know, patching these very complicated environments uh, is a, 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 an expensive, time-consuming, and error-prone process and we dramatically simplified it. It's very easy to maintain. The likelihood of pilot error when maintaining this machine is very, very low. Uh, we will test all of our VM changes, all of our operating system changes, all of our middleware and application changes. We'll test them all together and ship you one file. Ought to ship you one file to, up to, to either patch or upgrade all of the software together. It's been thoroughly tested. But this is an enormously powerful machine that is at once fast, cost-effective, fault-tolerant, standards-based, runs all your applications. It starts small uh, with a quarter rack, and you can scale up to, next slide, eight of these things. And as you add, as you add racks, it, you're, you're maintaining a balanced system. You're adding network capacity. You're, you're adding uh, I.O. capacity. Uh, you're adding memory, you're adding flash, you're adding cores and CPU processing, all in parallel. You're always getting a balanced system. 